What's going on guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a QR code. Um, I just posted it onto my fan page and you can see it in Photoshop over here. Um, it's very easy to do, there's a lot of websites that have generators. I found this one, um, don't ask me how to pronounce this word, I think it says kwa. Uh, dot com, QR code dot kwa dot com. In this box over here, we have the URL uh, that I'm going to send um, somebody to. It's the youtube.com forward slash Adobe Easy Tips. It's already in there. And over here, you can select the size that you want. Um, you can also do different things with this. Uh, you can select text and or phone number. Um, basically, if you scan this and there's a phone number, it'll uh, your phone will recognize it as a phone number, and then uh, you can add it as a contact. So that's pretty convenient. Um, especially, I think Joe over on Facebook um, was telling me that he wanted to put it on his business card. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. I've seen that before. Um, I've also seen these barcodes used in emails, on websites. Um, on posters, so they're being used more often right now. I know a lot of Android users are familiar with this. I think iPhone uh, users have barcode scanners. Actually, they do. They do have uh, barcode scanners. So you would have to grab yourself one of those applications, uh, download that to your phone, and then you can scan this. Um, I generated mine, and I'll just show you here what I did. You click generate. It takes you two seconds to generate this. You can also embed this on this website. You can also embed it on your website through this coding over here. Um, I clicked on it. I copied the image. Just right click, copy the image. You can save the image too if you wanted to. Then I came over here in Photoshop. I pasted it as my background. And then I just brought in my logo. Now this is the part where this tutorial is helpful. Um, you see this box over here and then this box over here. And then there's a third box in the left, uh, bottom left hand corner. And then there's another box. I'm going to just zoom in here. Right there. There's a box right here. When the barcode scanner goes over this barcode, what's going to happen is the dots are going to pinpoint on these boxes. Now the reason I'm telling you about this is because when you want to place your logo or anything else in the middle of this um, barcode, you want to have it so it doesn't block the boxes. What will happen if you block them? The code won't work and you won't be able to scan it. So you got to keep that into consideration. That's very important. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.